Assalamu alaikum. My name is Noor Muhammad Abdullah. Hello everybody. My name is Sheikh Muhammad Abdullah. We are from Egypt. From Robotic Team. Actually, this is our first time to participate in an international competition. Actually, we are grateful for this chance because it is the reason that makes us feel that we can make something useful and valuable for the society around us. We are very excited. Now, let's see what will we talk about today. We have a friend with us in the academy. His name is Adam. He has problems in hearing. We were trying to communicate with him in different ways, but the communication with him was difficult. Even if Adam is one of the best people, but we feel sorry for him. Because of that, we started seeing special people like Adam in the Egyptian society. We found that the percentage is from 2 to 3% from the Egyptian society. And we explored that the percentage is so small and this made them feel weird. Because of that, we thought of a solution that helps all of these people. This solution is Mr. Help. Mr. Help is a robot that helps deaf and dumb people to interact with people in a normal way. It converts anything said in front of the deaf person into written words. It converts written words from the dumb person into voice we can hear. Finally, it has a sensor that follows the person all of the time and doesn't leave him all day. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? Oh, can this help us? Now, we will start explaining the face detection part. I brought two pictures and when I click the flag, start starts detecting the face now it's starting to detect this face it's written this is safe muhammad and here it is detecting this face and it's written this is nur muhammad let's see the code now first we we used data logger and we used face detection. First, when flag clicked, now we will start explaining the practical part in our project. This part works only on Google Chrome. Here, this part helps deaf and dumb people to interact with people in a normal way. It converts anything said in front of the deaf person into written words and the dumb person can answer can, uh, can answer in the text box. Come on to try it. How are you? Now our words are written, are written here and there is a space to answer. I will write I am fine. I am fine. What is your name? When I wrote my words in the text box, it had been re read. Okay, now I asked, I asked, what's your name? I write Noor. Noor. Okay, and uh, it's complete. Come on to see the code now together. Hello everyone, today we will start explaining the project of the competition. This is a story that explains all 
our project. She is a girl that doesn't talk and doesn't hear. And this is her robot. It follows her all time. When she stops, it stops. When she walks, it walks. Forward, back, right, left, anywhere. It follows her. Now, she is going to her school and the teacher will talk to her. Let's see what will she do. Now she is going to school. Her teacher will come to her and tell her What's your name? And when the teacher said What's your name? The robot wrote What did she said? She said what's your name? So he wrote it and now the girl is reading what did she what did it write she would write her answer like hazel enter my name is hazel welcome hazel so here this robot would say what did she write and then the teacher said welcome hazel and the robot wrote it let us see now the code can this detect your face Yes, sure. Now, I will explain the mechanical design. I have two IR sensors, the left one and the right one. And I used ultrasonic sensor. And I have Arduino here. <clears throat> and I have four motors. and batteries finally i used a chip bridge i used the two ir sensors to detect the object if the object goes left the left ir sensor detect it and the motors go left and if the, ob if the object goes right the right ir sensor detect it and the motors go right and if the object goes forward the motors go forward and I used ultrasonic sensor to detect the distance between uh, to detect the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the object if the distance between them is greater, uh, greater than 25 centimeter and less than 2 centimeter the motors stop and I used edge bridge to control the motors. Imagine if this project is actually applied to all deaf and dumb people and be able to communicate to all people they love with a strong and normal way. What do you think their life would be? Imagine if this project is applied and Adam could communicate with us in the best way. How much we people will be happy, not only him. Imagine if this project is applied correctly and done correctly. We will be able to help millions of people in the whole world. Their life will be better and they will feel that they are normal people without missing anything. They became able to develop themselves and achieve their goals. And one day they can contribute developing our project. That was the reason to make them have a normal life. The project is not only about that. We also can add a lot, like GPS, like Airpen, like sign language, and a lot of other equations, which is going to be with us in the upcoming versions that connected to Mr. Help. 
Thank you because you are the reason that help us to discover our best because we believe that we have a real chance to make this in our life. Thank you for giving us this chance and thanks for listening. I wish you like our video. I hope you share it with all people around us. Goodbye. Goodbye.